the National Weather Service has started testing new, scarier storm warnings in tornado-prone states Kansas and Missouri. The messages beamed to news outlets now might say a tornado will cause mass devastation or complete destruction, or that a particularly foreboding twister is not survivable. Why weren't the old warnings scary enough? Because they all sounded the same. Until now, storm warnings were short on details and didn't clearly distinguish between run-of-the-mill gusts and deadly tornadoes. Before 1950, the then-called Weather Bureau wouldn't make tornado predictions at all, fearing mass panic. Tornado prediction was also a tricky business. The only way to know for sure one was coming was for someone to actually spot the funnel cloud. When the tornado warning system started in the 50s, meteorologists used cathode ray tubes and grease pencils to piece together images of storms based on radar data. Stronger radar echoes indicated heavy rain, but not high winds or a storm system that could produce a twister. The biggest technological breakthrough came in the 1990s as Doppler radar made it possible to detect not only the contours of a storm, but also wind directions and velocities inside the storm, making predictions easier. These days, the average lead time for a tornado warning is about 12 minutes. The twister that killed 160 people in Joplin, Missouri last year came with 20 minutes advance notice. The National Weather Service is better at anticipating tornadoes, but some experts worry that the public has been desensitized to its alerts. False alarms are still common, and the advice is usually the same. Take cover now. The organization hopes more specific and intense warnings could save lives, if not property.